outside this world. Hey guys, uh, welcome to another Anon Grimly video, and today we are looking at the Angara Insurgent 2 class on Mass Effect Andromeda multiplayer. I ran here with a Viper 1 uh, sniper rifle and a Sidewinder pistol. I might do a review for the Sidewinder because I really did enjoy playing with it. But let's get into the Angara's sh uh, abilities. So he has shield boost. This basically, when you press LB, it boosts his shield uh, dramatically. So if you've run out of shields, it will give you about three quarter shields back and boost it for nearby allies. Your assault turret, you uh, deploy that of LB and RB, and obviously it will attack nearby enemies. If you hold down LB and RB while it's deployed, it will detonate itself and destroy enemies. And then we come onto the uh, trip mine. Obviously, pu uh, cresting RB will push out a put out a trip mine that when enemy walks over the laser of it, it will detonate. Uh, obviously it says here, the closer the enemy is to the laser and the explosion, the more damage they take. That's pretty uh, self-explanatory. And then obviously he has his defensive and offensive tech, which are generic to every character, helping you improve their health and their uh, weapon use. So into my thoughts and impressions of the Angar Insurgent. Obviously it might not be the same of you as yours, it depends how you play. Uh, overall, I would say the Angara Insurgent is good if you are the sort of person that likes to approach wave-based uh, game modes from afar. You like to sit back and let the enemy come to you. As you can see here, you're able to just camp out, use a sniper rifle, place down some trip mines in your turret, and deal damage to enemies while they approach you. It's not my favourite sort of uh, play style, that's why I said I prefer the Angara Avenger, because I can really get up in their face. With the Angara Insurgent, if you're getting up in front of some, into some of these face, you want to make sure it's just one enemy and there's not two or three because once you start taking damage your shields and health go down quite quickly uh, luckily he does have that shield boost on LB to allow him to regenerate uh, his shields qu uh, quicker than usual but in that sense if you're using that shield boost you already want to be away from the enemies because it's pretty much rendered useless if you pop it you get half his shields back and you're still surrounded by enemies they will have taken it out you really want to give it time to uh, time to pop it and get that get the extra regeneration it gives you over time without when you don't take damage and you're still in its uh, radius. The trip mines and turret, however, are quite good, especially when you're playing uh, sitting back. You can just place two or three uh, mines, as I have here, as you see one explodes there. Kind of stops the enemy from getting two in your face and getting in that situation where you feel a bit underpowered. Uh, as you see here, I'm able to use the turret when I'm taking damage to just deploy it out, give me a bit of cover from enemies that are approaching, do, do a bit of damage to them, and then I pop my shield boost there to allow me to regenerate shields. So your turret does allow you sometimes to get yourself out of bother because it will attract fire as you see. The enemy uh, takes out my turret there instead of trying to shoot me. Here was a nice little bit of gameplay I got using the Angar Insurgent. Probably my best uh, piece of gameplay and the bit that I enjoyed the most. As you saw, my teammate revived me there, and we're in this corridor. Uh, you can you can basically put down your trip mines like I have, and your uh, turret to basically basically turn the tide on the enemy. If it wasn't for my trip mines and my turrets, I would have argued here we would have had to run away from the enemies, but because we have the, t uh, the fire power power of my uh, mines and my turret, we were able to take the fight to the enemy. Uh, the good thing about those mines is they don't just deal damage to one enemy, they are damaged within a radius. So if two or three enemies approach you at the same time, you can basically uh, kill a lot of enemies with one mine. Here again, here's another good example of how to use the how to use the trip mine. If you have slow moving enemies like we have this one here, if you uh, pop it underneath them, because the trip mine does take three or four seconds to prime, so if you've got a fast moving enemy and you try and catch them out by popping underneath them to deal with damage instantly without them having to walk over it and come in that general direction. Nine times out of ten you'll fail because they would have run past it before it's primed. Whereas here if you've got slow moving enemies you can just press, uh, you can just drop one down and in two or three seconds it, it will prime and do a lot of damage to bulkier enemies that are slower. So overall the Angara Insurgent, although not my favourite, is a good class if you find a map where you can sit back and you are I think it's good with teamwork. If you're playing with a team of players that you know and you can coordinate, you basically want to always uh, stay around your team because that's when he's at his best. When you got uh, the other angles of you covered to stop you taking damage, you can deal damage afar to enemies approaching. 
He's not very good at objective play, obviously, because he does like to sit in one place. Uh, but when it does come to defending the objectives in devices, you could argue he's good there. But again, you need a closed off device area if that's one that spawns. And if it's one in the open, you're pretty much useless. Because if you do start taking damage, you're fairly weak and you will die. So there we go. That's my review of the Angara Insurgent. Basically, in a nutshell, if you like to play uh, wave-based multiplayer games where you like to camp and sit back, He's perfect for you, get some good guns on him. I don't think I had good enough guns on him. But if you get a good high power sniper rifle, uh, you'll basically be set. But he's not my favourite because I'm an agility based player who likes to get into the face of the enemy. So if you're somebody like me, stay away from the Angara Insurgent because if you do go around running and gunning, you will live to regret it. So there's a review for our Angara Insurgent. Uh, if you like this video and you like any of the content on my channel don't forget to like comment subscribe all that tell me what you want to see next you don't have to you're not obliged to uh but i guess all i can say now is have a nice weekend and enjoy playing mass effect andromeda